Hey, hello everyone. My name is Lulu. Welcome back to my channel. I'm on a recording bench, aren't I? But it's time for Purposeful Tossing for March 2019. First 10 days every month, I toss or give away or recycle whatever 10 things in the house that I don't need. Um, I tend to do them in groupings, kind of all of the same genre. And sometimes I think one of these day, one of the days in this video, I just picked here and there stuff. This was a great month for me because I don't know why it just felt more productive. I got into nooks and crannies I normally don't go into, like the junk bedroom. Um, and it, behind the scenes, which you didn't see, was um, like I had decorative pillowcases and I had pillows, you know, new pillows, but they never got made their way into the pillowcases, but I did that along the way. I rearranged um, a drawer. You know, there was just a lot that went on behind the scenes, not every day, but a few days that made me feel very productive. And you'll see, I, I don't remember, it's towards the end, but I'm finally gonna start selling things on Facebook Marketplace, house things, that someone could really use. Um, I don't, plan on making a lot of money from any of that, but I just think, um, you yeah, know, they're brand new, still in a box. So uh, anyway, you'll see that. So hold on tight. I will take you through my 10 days and the 10 things I tossed on each day for a total of 100 things. And then I'll come back at the end and we'll just kind of wrap things up. So here we go. Here's day one. March 1st, I walked around collecting magazines. I gave three to my mother. Here's seven, so they will go in the recycle bin. And that is March 1st. March 2nd, I came back to my candle cabinet. Top is all done. Those are good to stay, good to stay. And now I'm working on these two. And hopefully, well, we'll see how many I get rid of. Hopefully, I'll be done. So I will let you know what I, what is going bye-bye. I'm happy to say the candles are done. So this is the top row. These are all staying. So nice and neat. <laughs> Even I don't recognize it. And the ones that are going are here. Some I have duplicates, some I've just lost scent, and some I simply don't like anymore. Homemade cookies, twisted peppermint, I love, but this one seems to have lost its scent, and I have two others. Vanilla snowflake, what's this one? Hot buttered rum, homemade cookies again, I have so many of these. Harvest coffee, ugh, don't like it anymore. Apple ale, cinnamon cupcake, and something Rio, I think. Rio Sizzle, Rio Glow. So those are the 10 candles for March 2nd, and my candles are done. March 3rd. It's the day to say goodbye to 9,000 washcloths. I hardly use them. I use those netting things. So... I don't know if I'm going to put them in the garage for cars, whatever, but they are getting out of this house and either to Goodwill. I have other rags I can use, not me, but the sons can use on cars. So 10 rags, washcloths, whatever, are going. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bye bye. <clears throat> March fourth. I'm in a closet. I keep. I kept a few things of Vito's just because, but at the bottom of this closet are. I'm guessing very expired, I don't even know, body care, hair care, something care. So I need to start with, 
I don't know if I should consider an entire bag one thing, because otherwise I would be doing this forever. But suffice it to say, I will find 10 things. Might be bags at a time. All right, like <clears throat> 10 miscellaneous, I don't know what's. A soap caddy. I have no idea, remote something. This was Vito's, uh, when we had to test his blood sugar kit. Two of his phones. I don't know, like magnifying glasses with a light. Glass cleaning cloths. I have no idea. A tap to some glass something or other. Is this 10 or more than 10? And these are expired. <laughs> oh, that was not an easy box. Hey, hey, it's a March 5th in this drawer. I didn't, honestly, I didn't know it was this packed. <clears throat> I, I don't know, I might have to break my own rule or just count this as one thing. But it's just earbuds and old phones and sewing needles and thread and what am I doing? I have no idea what those are. All right, I will work on this. And <laughs> okay, there's a few scraps left in here, but the entire drawer went. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's, let's, um, So we have, I think we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's that other thing in G? Oh, here it is. And 10. Is this an antique? <laughs> 10. <laughs> and the rest, oh no, that's not true. I have a bunch of um, packaged, that is going to go back in there, packaged earbuds. So that's going to go back in there. Okie dokie. Oh, and okay, once more I'm a liar, there's going to be three Mac uh, earbuds I found. Okay, we get the picture. Oh dear, this was one of those walking around the house, really mostly the, a, spare, the spare, a spare bedroom, junk room, whatever you want to call it, and just saying, what is this? So this fan is in good shape. It's going to go to Goodwill. This stand fan is broken. This is a computer. Jeez, I mean, like literally when they made a million, well, a million tons or something, those desktops, desk tray, more wires, and... Um, I won't even, I don't even know. Bye-bye. Okay, today I'm in some really deep territory. I'm cleaning out, oh, this was the original bedroom set my parents had. The first one that they bought when they came to this country. I think the wood is called, design is called waterfall or something. So I kept all the pieces, and so I'm going through the doors because they were downstairs in the last house and just never emptied them out. So I don't know. These are some kind of boxes for some kind of reason. There's 10 of them. Oh, that made it easy. Out they go. This is a linen the Oh, my gosh. It's winding down. I feel very, I don't know, I feel very cleansed this month for some reason. I'm going into places I haven't been but kind of been thinking about them. This is a not much used linen closet. I really need to get it to use. But this is bedding that I, is just a mush mush. Like there's things I know I will, you know, they're mismatched. Won't be using them. So I need to pull out 10 things here that I won't, you know, for sure will not miss if um, I give them up. And these, assuming they're in good shape, will go to Goodwill. If not, they'll be tossed. So this is what's left, a few flat sheets and a few extra pillowcases. And this is everything, this is 10 pieces of uh, sheets, flat sheets, and pillowcases that are all in good shape, so they're, they're all going to go to Goodwill.
da 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 March 9th. Oh, I, I'm actually putting these on Facebook Marketplace. These are puppy pads. And I know I have more than 10, but I'm, you know, I'm going to sell them all together. There's, there's three, six, seven, and this 11. So 11 of these. I cannot wait to post to list them. Yay! March 9th. Ooh, doggy. Get it? Ooh, doggy. Thanks. What do you think? What do you think? You don't want to get in the picture? Okay. You don't have to get in the picture. Yoo-hoo. Hey, Banks. Oh, Binkies. You're on candid camera. Look at him. Ignoring me completely. Da, 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 da. Did I sing that yesterday? Day 10. This whole... I'm in the garage at the moment. This whole bin is literally filled with, like, um, internet, cable... Xfinity, Comcast, AT&T, I don't even know. Remotes, I don't know what these things are called, but, you know, like, to get internet and routers, and I'm taking this tomorrow. Tomorrow, there will be no stopping me, rain or shine, I'm taking these tomorrow back to the Xfinity store and see, I don't even know, am I paying rent on these things every month? I have no idea, but they are all, there's more than 10 in here, but it's impossible to break up, so... Suffice it to say, just this whole thing is going tomorrow. <laughs> this is going to be wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, hold on a second while I wrap this up. And the miracle, once again, has happened. <laughs> and I just, in some cases, could have kept on going and going. Uh, when I was in that junk spare bedroom, it's hardly been touched since the move, and um, oh my goodness, and I knew there were a few points that were hard. I knew I was going to run into things that were vetoes that um, kind of when I was packing, just in such a hurry to get out of the other house, you know, we were just, you know, I had packing parties and people were just dumping into boxes. So I found a couple of his old cell phones. I found his... Um, checkbook. I found um, just things. There was a kit uh, we, at a certain point, we needed to start checking his sugar. So his kit for, you know, the poking and all of that, I found that. And it was, there were a lot of things in that spare bedroom. And I think maybe subconsciously, it's why I haven't really been in there, because I knew there were more things. It's where I have the few items of clothes that I kept. Maybe I kept a dozen pieces of clothing of his. Um, and I know, I know they're in that closet, but it was, um, was, it was healthy. It's okay. It was healthy. So, the, the, you know, I'll tell you the checkbook. Yeah, the checkbook was hard. I mean, we, I don't even remember how long it's been since we've written out checks for anything, but he loved his checkbook. Always doing those numbers. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching March 2019 Purposeful Tossing. And if you are following along or I am motivating you to get rid of things and purge and clean the house, it's almost time for spring cleaning. I am constantly amazed that I find 100 things every month. But then again, you know, probably 100 things come in the house every month with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. I will see you again. Bye-bye.